in this question we need to find the foster 1 and foster 2 network of this impedance function so first step it is to identify which network it is whether it is rl rc or lc network that is the first step in some question they will mention it in the question itself but if they didn't mention how to find which network it is for finding that draw the pole zero plot and get the poles and zeros okay for getting poles equate denominator equal to zero so when we equate denominator equal to zero we will get either sc equal to zero or we will get s square plus nine equal to zero from this we will get s square equal to minus nine sc equal to root of minus nine root of nine it is three then instead of minus we will write plus or minus j so the poles are at zero minus 3j and plus 3j now for finding zeros you need to equate numerator equal to zero so when we equate numerator equal to zero we will get either s square plus 1 equal to zero or we will get s square plus 16 equal to zero from this we will get s square equal to minus 1 sc equal to plus or minus j and from here we will get s square equal to minus 16 sc equal to root of minus 16 that is plus or minus 4j so the zeros are at plus j minus j plus 4j and minus 4j plot this point in the graph so poles will be plotted by cross mark and zeros will plot by putting zero so poles are at zero zero you have a pole then plus or minus 3j 1 2 3 plus 3j 1 2 3 minus 3j now zeros at plus or minus j that is at 1 and minus 1 we have zero then plus and minus 4 at 4 and minus 4 we have zero now if the poles and zeros are on the imaginary axis then that network will be lc network that means if poles and zeros are on the imaginary axis then the network is LC network. So we found that our given question is a LC network. Now in the next step we need to find the order of numerator and denominator. How to find the order for that? You need to open the bracket. Okay. So we will put 3 outside. 3 is a constant. We will put it outside. Now opening bracket. S square into S square you will get S raised to 4. S square into 16 it will be 16 S square plus 1 into S square it will be S square plus 1 to 16 it will be 16 divided by opening denominator s into s square it will be s cube s into 9 it will be 9s so order means the highest power of s here the highest power of s it is 4 so order of denominator it is 4 now in the denominator the highest power of s it is 3 so order of denominator it is 3 now from here we can see that order of numerator is greater than order of denominator if order of numerator is greater than order of denominator we can't proceed with this impedance function so we need to find a new impedance function for that we need to do long division how to do long division take the numerator numerator it is s raised to 4 plus 16 s square plus 16 s square 16 s square plus s square so you will get this 17 s square plus 16 now we need to divide it with s cube plus 9s so dividing it with s cube plus 9s now how to do long division many people have doubt in how to do long division take the first terms here the first term it is s cube here the first term it is s raised to 4. So s cube multiplied by x will give s raised to 4. So what will be the value of x? s raised to 4 divided by s cube. So cutting out we will get x equal to s. So put s here. Now multiply this with this. s cube into s it will be s raised to 4. Plus 9s into s it will be 9s square. Now subtract s raised to 4 minus s raised to 4 it will be 0. 17 minus 9 it will be 8s square. Then the remaining term we will write down. So 8s square plus 16. So our new value of impedance it will be quotient plus remainder by divider. So write like this, okay? So quotient it is s plus the remainder it is 8 s square plus 16 divided by s cube plus 9s. So this will be our new impedance function. Write like this, okay? First to take s, then 8 s square plus 16, then s cube plus 9s. So we got the impedance function like this and we have a three constant outside. We took that outside we need to multiply it inside so we will get 3s plus 8 into 3 it will be 24 s square then 3 into 16 it will be 48 divided by s cube plus 9s and here the denominator it is like this but in the question the denominator it was s into s square plus 9 so we will write it again the denominator we will write like this itself taking the s time outside so when we take s outside it will be s square plus 9 the denominators are same and the denominator it will be 24 s square plus 48 now for this impedance function we need to do partial fraction in the previous video i discussed how to do partial fraction just watch that video here we can see in the denominator there are two terms we are going to split that terms so denominator we are going to split it s and s square plus 9 so it is a product form so we will write plus splitting now on the numerator side here the power of s it is 1 so we will simply write a here the power of s it is 2 so we need to write bs plus c 
So this impedance function can be written as a by s plus v s plus c divided by s square plus 9. Now what we need to do? We need to cos multiply. So we will get a into s square plus 9 plus s into v s plus c all divided by s into s square plus 9. Now here the denominator and here the denominators are same. So we will cancel it. Thus we will get the equation like this. Now open the bracket a into s square plus 9a plus s into bs it will be bs square plus s into c it will be cs. Now take the term s square. So s square I took it outside then the coefficient of s square here it is a. Here it is b. So a plus b. Then the coefficient of s that is cs plus the constant that is 9a. Now here the coefficient in s square it is a plus b. Here the coefficient in s square it is 24. So we will get a plus b equal to 24. Now here the coefficient here s it is c but here there are no s terms so you will get c equal to 0 now here the constant 9a here it is 9a here the constant is 48 so you will get 9a equal to 48 from this we will get a equal to 48 by 9 which is equal to 16 by 3 because 3 is common in both these digits so we will get a equal to 16 by 3 from this how to get b so we will get 16 by 3 plus b equal to 24 from that we will get b equal to 24 minus 16 by 3. So we will get b equal to 56 by 3. So thus we got the value of a it is 16 by 3 and the value of b it is 56 by 3. Now do the substitution. Instead of a we can write 16 by 3 divided by s plus instead of b we can write 56 by 3 into s plus c. c we got it as 0 so we don't want to write that. Divided by s square plus 9. So instead of this function we can write this. So from this big total impedance we split it into three terms. This is set 1, set 2 and set 3. Now we are going to write the Foster 1 network. In Foster 1 all these impedances will be connected in series. Okay. So this will be the Foster 1 network. Now this is an LC network. So there will be inductor and capacitor. Okay. Now as you can see here if S is in the numerator then it will be an inductor. If S is in the denominator, then it will be capacitor. If the function is like this, then it will be a combination of inductor and a capacitor. So in, so in Foster form, we will connect all this in series. Okay. But the actual network will not be like this. Because when we draw the pole zero plot, we got a pole at the origin. If we are getting a pole at the origin, then the first element will be capacitor. Then after that, the next step, we got numerator greater than denominator. If you are getting like that, the last element will be an inductor. Okay, so the figure will not be like this. The first element will be capacitor. Then we will write this network which consists of a combination of inductor and capacitor. Then the last element will be inductor. So this will be the real circuit diagram. Now we got the circuit diagram, but we didn't get the values. How to find the values? If S is in the numerator, it will be an inductor. And the coefficient near S it is the value of inductor. So the coefficient near S it is 3. So the value of inductor it is 3. Now if S is in the denominator it will be a capacitor. And the value of capacitor it will be the reciprocal of this. So the reciprocal means instead of 16 by 3 we need to write 3 by 16. Now we have a combination. Okay. For getting the capacitor value the value near S take its reciprocal. Value near S it is 56 by 3. The reciprocal of that it will be 3 by 56. Now for getting the value of inductor, the value of inductor, the value of near S it is 56 by 3. That should be divided by this value. So divided by 9. So we will put that in the denominator. We will get 56 by 3 into 9. We will get as 56 divided by 27. So the value of inductor will be 56 divided by 27. So we need to put the units. Inductor it is Henry and for capacitor the units are Farad. So this is the impedance circuit diagram or Foster 1 network. Now we are going to find the Foster 2 network. For finding Foster 2 network, we need admittance. Here it is impedance. We need admittance. How to find admittance? Admittance it is the reciprocal of impedance. So the numerator it will be the denominator S into S square plus 9 divided by the denominator it will be the numerator 3 into S square plus 1 into S square plus 16. With this function, we need to find the network. Now, in the first step, what we will do? We will check the or degree of numerator and denominator. The degree of numerator, s into s square, that will be s raised to 3. 
So the degree of denominator is 3. The degree of denominator s square into s square it will be s raised to 4. So the degree of denominator it will be 4. Here the degree of denominator it is less than degree of denominator. Then there is no problem. We can proceed with this admittance function. If degree of numerator is greater than degree of denominator, we need to do long division method. So here we can directly do partial fraction. Before doing partial fraction, take this 3 outside. Okay. I'm taking this 3 outside. Then the remaining term is s into s square plus 9 divided by s square plus 1 into s square plus 16. Doing partial fraction, we need to split the denominators. So splitting the denominator, s square plus 1 is one denominator and s square plus 16 is the other denominator. This is a product form. So we will write plus and here on the numerator, here the power of s it is 2. Due to that, we need to write on the numerator a into s. Actually a is plus c, but when we quit, we will get c equal to 0. Because of that, we will writing only a into s. Now here the power of s it is 2. So we need to write b into s. Now cos multiply. So we will get a s into s square plus 16 plus b s into s square plus 1 all divided by s square plus 1 into s square plus 16 square plus 1 into s square plus 16. So both side denominators are same so we can cut that. So you will get s into s square plus 9 equal to this thing. Now open the bracket. a s into s it will be a s square a s into s square so you will get a s cube plus a s into 16 it will be 16 a s plus b s into s square it will be b s cube plus b s into 1 it will be b s. Now here open the bracket we will get s into s square it will be s cube plus 9 into s it will be 9 s. Now here there are two s cubes so take the s cube and the quotient of s cube near here it is a and here it is b so a plus b plus we will take the quotient s quotient here s so taking s outside here the quotient is 16 a and the remaining term it is b so we will get like this now equating it to s cube plus 9 s so here the quotient here s cube it is a plus b here the quotient here s cube it is 1 so you will get a plus b equal to 1. Now here the quotient near s it is 16 a plus b. Here the quotient near s it is 9. So either you can solve, we need to find the values of a and b, okay? Either you can use the calculator or you can simply do the subtraction. b minus b it will be 0, 16 a minus a it will be 15 a, 9 minus 1 it will be 8. So we will get a equal to a equal to 8 by 15. So we got a equal to 8 by 15. So sub substituting here, a 8 is 8 by 15 plus b is equal to 1. So we will get b equal to 1 minus 8 by 15. That is equal to 15 minus 8, 7. 7 by 15. So we got the value of b as 7 by 15. Substitute these values here. So instead of a, we will write 8 by 15 into s divided by s square plus 1 plus instead of b, we will write 7 by 15. 7 by 15 into s divided by s square plus 16. So instead of this big term, we can write like this. Now there is 3 outside. We multiply it into the inside the bracket so you will get 8 by 15 into 3 45 divided by s square plus 1 into s plus 7 by 15 into 3 it will be 7 by 45 into s divided by s square plus 16 so after doing partial fraction we got from this y of s we got like this okay from this we need to draw the network in foster form 2 in foster form 2 here we can see it is a combination okay in combination means this is an lc network LC network. So combination of LC network we will write L then C again L and C. In foster form, form 2 we will connect all this element in parallel. So this will be the network. Now we need to find the value of inductor and capacitor all those things. For foster form 2 listen here for foster form 2 if S is in the numerator the value near S it is the value of capacitor. So capacitor the value will be 8 by 45 and that should be divided by this thing. 1. So capacitor value will be 8 by 45 itself. Now in this network the capacitor value the coefficient here as it is 7 by 45. 7 by 45 that should be divided by this 16. So you will get 7 by 45. The 16 will go in the numerator side. So 7 by 45 into 16 we will get it as 7 by 720. So we got the capacitor values it is 8 by 45 and here it is 7 by 720. The capacitor we want it is farad. Okay. Now we need to find the value of inductors. For inductor, the value L1, the coefficient here S, it is 8 by 45. We need to take the reciprocal of that. So we will get 45 by 8. For L2, the coefficient here S, it is 7 by 45. We need to take the reciprocal of that. It is 45 by 7. So for this inductor, it is 45 by 7. For this inductor, it will be 45 by 8. 
and the unit of inductor is Henry. So this will be the Foster 2 network. So in Foster 1 and 2, if S is in the numerator, in Foster 1 it is inductor, in Foster 2 it is capacitor. If S is in the denominator, in Foster 1 it is capacitor, in Foster 2 it is inductor. Now if it is a combination like this, in Foster 1 it will be inductor and capacitor connected in parallel. In Foster 2 it will be inductor and capacit capacitor connected in series. Now for finding the values, in Foster 1 I will say, the coefficient the value near set is A, so the inductor value will be A. Capacitor, if S is in denominator it is capacitor. For finding the value, here it is A, so capacitor value will be 1 by A. Now here also, here the value near set is A, so capacitor value will be 1 by A. For inductor value, we need to write the coefficient near set is A and that should be divided by B square. The Foster form 2, it is the opposite of that. Here it is inductor, so here it is capacitor. The value near set is the value of capacitor. Here, the, if S is in the denominator, it will be inductor and you need to take the reciprocal, okay? So, for inductor, we need to take reciprocal. But for capacitor, we need to take, if it is combination, you need to take A by B square. The method to find the value of Foster 2 network is opposite to that of Foster 1 network. If it is inductor here, it will be capacitor here, like that.